My name is Morgan Lamb, and I am the HIM Director for ABC Hospital. My role is to protect both patient and physician, as well as provide our hospital's departments with the information necessary to be in compliance with ethical, legal, and medical standards. By ensuring that patients' medical documentation is accurate, complete, and timely, as well as how that information is acquired, stored, and accessed, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services on the Conditions for Participation Guidelines affect our hospital's departments and services as well as the quality of our clinical documentation and claims reimbursement. Today's mission is to maintain an effective partnership to continue the output of quality clinical documentation. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services on the Conditions of Participation Guidelines are federally regulated and we are mandated to remain in compliance with these guidelines in order to receive the funds for our hospital's Medicare and Medicaid programs. The Conditions of Participation Guidelines interpret specific elements to be carried out and they are organized by department and services. We must implement and provide effective data-driven quality and clinical documentation. This must include all departments and subsequent services within our hospital. This must include the prevention of complete, missing, and medical errors in our patient documentation. Section 482.12, the governing body, states that every healthcare facility must have a governing body that is held legally responsible for all actions taken by the facility. It is that individual's job to ensure that functions related to the healthcare facility are both accurate and compliant with regard to quality documentation. Section 482.13, Patients' Rights, states that under these guidelines, healthcare facility standards have been revised to update standards related to the use of restraint and seclusion, as well as the training on staff reporting for deaths that are involved with instances of wrist restraints. Accurate documentation providing the details of the patient and care received by the attending physician must be available if requested by the Centers of Medicare and Medicaid Services. Section 482.22, medical staff states that the changes that have been made which grant medical professionals other than practitioners the flexibility of a wider range of duties to reflect the responsibilities expected for adequate patient care. This change affects only the duties limited to medical professionals' fields, for example, PAs, APRNs, and pharmacists. Section 482.23, Nursing Services, states that a revised plan has been introduced that involves individual departments within a nurse's care, such as respiratory, occupational therapy, and pharmacy, so that they can be properly identified and documented under patient care to meet the objective goals and progress made in clinical documentation. Section 482.24, Medical Record Services, states that each individual patient our hospital provides services for must receive accurate and complete medical documentation. Medical records involve any and all written documentation, electronic information, visual documentation such as radiographs, laboratory reports, pathology, audio, video, and any other forms of data pertaining to the patient. We must restructure our workflow for documentation in order to fulfill the requirements for quality clinical documentation to include information management, continuity of information, privacy and security of information, retrieval, transmittal, and dissemination of information, as well as transcription and resources used, and how our hospital maintains accuracy in our health information. Authenticated data entry, concurrent documentation, scheduled record audits, proper medical record retention, accurate reflection of patient care and services rendered, educated and qualified staff to receive the record, verbal orders, proper hospital documentation that provides patient discharge information. We should familiarize ourselves with the practice of reviewing patient charts. They should be located quickly and efficiently. Fundamentally, Clinical documentation must be accurately written, completed in a timely manner, filed and saved correctly in order to maintain the privacy and security to the patient. We must maintain proper format when entering information in order to successfully access patient information when necessary. Section 482.42, Infection Control, states that the identification, investigation, 
reporting and control of infections and communicable diseases of patients and personnel was formally completed by infection control officers by implementing a system that can be authenticated by its users. However, updates have been made that these actions can be monitored by surveillance to attest to proper infection control methods exercised. Section 482.54 Outpatient Services states that due to the expansion of outpatient services in all hospitals that are offered to patients, management practices have been put in place to appoint an individual in charge of overseeing the services provided. This allows for any related documentation to these services provided to be accurately documented. Section 485.604 Transplant Center Process Requirement states that Centers for Medicaid and Medicare Services has identified the drain of resources incurred by duplicative efforts related to blood type verification. This verification is now reduced to allocate resources to spend the time necessary on documentation required for verification to meet quality clinical documentation standards. Section 482.25 Personnel qualifications states that the medical team members' qualifications have been updated to reflect their current functions and roles served in a healthcare setting to enhance the content documented based on the services they provide. Section 482.25, Pharmaceutical Services states that the program used to provide proper care to patients has been changed in name to reflect that this care is calling it Quality Assessment and Performance Assurance Program. The fundamentally required seven elements of criteria in order to put out high quality documentation culminate the necessary information to adequately identify all information related to the patient and care received. Is your documentation legible? Is it of a clear and concise nature? Can it be easily deciphered? Is your documentation complete? Do you have the basic required information such as patient name, date of service, health record number, or other pertinent information that can identify such documentation. Is the context of your documentation consistent? Does it provide the necessary information that appears throughout the required formats? Does the quality of your documentation represent accuracy and exactness? Is your documentation reliable? Is it consistently accurate, specific, and complete in its entirety? Is your documentation current? Is it completed concurrently with the patient's treatment at the time of service? These are the questions that need to be answered when completing and reviewing clinical documentation. How is the relationship between quality documentation directly correlated with maximum claim reimbursement? The accuracy and exactness of your input in clinical documentation is required in order for specific billable code selection, which results in reimbursement to our hospital, physician and patient. Health information management specialists work directly with physicians and other medical team members to provide education on record management, coding, claims reimbursement, and clinical documentation that is within HIPAA compliance. This documentation is audited for the purpose of meeting quality assurance data practices, accuracy, codability, and privacy of health information. This role is within the wide scope of practice to prioritize the patient safety and quality of care while promoting methods for clinical documentation improvement, which will reduce the amount of notation errors, discrepancies, and champion decision-making processes with physicians. Together with the partnership of medical team members within our hospital's departments and myself, we can work together to meet and uphold the standards for quality clinical documentation that ensures both the privacy and security of our patients while receiving maximum claim reimbursement. Thank you for your time.